pre-k today we are going to be reading this book called today i feel and it is an alphabet of feelings it is written by madalena moniz so each letter in um this alphabet book is going to tell us a different way that you might be feeling a adored if you take a close look there are lots of picture frames on this page here and it looks like this boy is in all of the picture frames so he is feeling adored that means he's feeling very loved what comes after a b for brilliant C for curious. Looks like this boy is looking inside of that black hole and he's feeling very curious. He's probably wondering, hmm, what's inside of here? D for daring. E, excited. Looks like this little boy is looking up at all the snowflakes that are falling down and he's excited. Usually when the first uh, snowflake fall, snowflakes fall down in the sky, I get excited. It looks really pretty. F. Free. G. Grumpy. Sometimes I feel hung I feel grumpy when I waited too long to eat. If I'm feeling hungry and I wait too long to eat, I get a little grumpy. I wonder why this boy feels grumpy. H heroic. Looks like he's pretending to be a superhero. I invisible. That's pretty cool that that pattern on the page looks the same as the pattern that's on his sweatshirt. So that's probably why he's feeling invisible because he doesn't stand out a lot. But that's the same pattern. J. Jealous. Why do you think this boy is jealous? What is he doing? That's right, he's looking outside the window. Where do you think he is? He must be inside of his home. So he's looking at that kite. And what do you think he's feeling? It says jealous, but what could that mean? Hmm. That probably means that he really wishes that he could be outside. He wants to be outside flying a kite too, but instead he has to stay inside. So he probably feels jealous. K, kind. L, light. Whoa, it looks like this little boy is getting taken up into the air with the balloons. M, mini. Oh, this little boy is mini. He fits inside of this pocket on this shirt. Hmm. What letter comes after M? I'm sorry, what letter comes after M? I gave you the answer. <laughs> M. Nervous. It looks like this little boy is nervous. It looks like he is on a stage, like he's about to perform a show. And he's feeling nervous. Oh. Original. P. Patient. I've made a large puzzle. Not with this many puzzle pieces. But I do remember that I had to be very patient while making the puzzle. Because sometimes it might be really tricky. It might take a long time to complete a puzzle. Q. Quiet. 
Oh my goodness, where do you think this little boy is at? Where do you see in the picture? Oh, I noticed something that gave me a really good hint. First of all, there's lots of chairs. And he's wearing some special kind of glasses. Those look like 3D glasses, and it looks like he has a popcorn box. So he must be in the movie theater, because you need to be quiet in the movie theater. R. Relax. Oh, this one looks really nice. It looks like he's floating in a pool. I would love to be floating in a pool like this. I could be nice and relaxed as well. S. Strong. T. Tall. Whoa, look how tall this boy is compared to all of these houses. U. Uncertain. V. Victorious. W. Warm. I feel warm right now with my sweater on. X. X O X O. Looks like these friends are playing tic tac toe. They're writing lots of X's and lots of O's. Y. Yucky. Z. And he's sleeping. How do you feel today? Okay, boys and girls, so what I want you to do is I want you to think about how are you feeling today, okay? I want you to pick one of the letters from the book that we just read based on how you feel, okay? So I am going to upload a uh, document that shows each of the letters that was written in this book along with the emotion that went along with that letter. And I want you to decide, did you feel, or do you feel quiet? Do you feel tall? Do you feel uncertain? I want you to choose one of the letters and you're gonna go ahead and write that letter on a piece of paper. You're going to write the word and then I want you to write a sentence about how you feel, why you feel that way. And then I want you to draw a picture to show us how you're feeling that emotion, okay? We can't wait to see it.